it's over. Trey Gowdy just went on TV and gave Trump the best news ever. Trey Gowdy is not holding back anymore. He doesn't get why the media keeps on attacking Trump for the Russia thing. Hold up, hold up. Trey Gowdy just said it loud and proud. You can watch the clip below. So what is this investigation about, and when, if ever, does it end? Congressman Trey Gowdy just took over as chairman of the House Oversight Committee. He also serves on the House Intelligence Committee, and he joins us tonight. Congressman, thanks so much, Chairman. Thank you for joining us. Yes, sir. Um, How you feeling about so, it? Oh, I, I feel vigorous. Um, Good. But I have lost track of the point of all this. What is the point of this investigation? Just to remind those of us who are following at home. Well, Tucker, the hyper-focus on collusion is, is, is not Congress's fault. I, I would say folks in your line of work have been focused on collusion much more than, than uh, certainly Republican members of the House. There are four things that we're looking at. Russian active measures, which a subset of that would be collusion. The U.S. response back in 2016, which has nothing to do with Trump. That's an Obama administration response. And then importantly, the leaks and the unmasking, which which have everything to do with the reauthorization of certain surveillance programs. So there are four things that, that, that the House Intel Committee is looking at. One of those involves Russian active measures, and a subset of that would be collusion, not just between Mr. Trump and the Russians, but any American uh, and the Russians. So uh, the hyper-focus on, on collusion and conspiracy and coordination is not mine. I, I'm interested in all four tranches. When will, we, when will we know what happened? When will this wrap up, do you think? Well, the last witness is interviewed, and that is a legitimate criticism. Uh, I was ready months ago. There are only six members of the House Intel Committee that are conducting the witness right. interviews. Uh, only six, so it's not the whole committee. I, I was ready two months ago to start interviewing witnesses. We are slowly beginning to do that. We have another one tomorrow. My goal, our goal, is to have this done in a perfect world before Labor Day, we've interviewed everyone, because keep in mind, if we don't interview every witness, that, that, then some skeptic's gonna say, the one, inter the one witness you did not interview is the one that has all the knowledge. So you, you have to interview everyone, and then at the end, you can discuss what evidence exists or does not exist. So you said a minute ago the press was keeping the idea of collusion uh, at the forefront of the public consciousness, which is, of course, true. Um, I think you've been responsible in your public statements on this. We've had members of the committee on this show who have openly suggested, certainly implied that there was collusion. There's clearly a political agenda here, and I'm not flacking for the Trump administration. Obviously, the president's hurt himself with his grotesquely counterproductive tweeting on the subject. But as a factual matter, there is a political agenda here, uh, an axe being ground by Democrats, and doesn't that kind of color the whole investigation and make it maybe less useful from the public's perspective? Uh, well, it certainly may. The congressional part, uh, I, I think Robert Mueller um, has a long distinguished career that is essentially apolitical. Um, and, and I think that people are going to be able to have confidence in the outcome of that investigation. With respect to Congress, uh, we have a tendency to politicize almost everything, Tucker, and you're exactly right. There, there are members of, of, of both the House and the Senate who talk about, here's my favorite, I've seen evidence that's more than circumstantial but not direct, which by the way is tautological. There, there's no way it can be more than circumstantial but not direct. And then one of the members right. of the committee said this week uh, that he has seen evidence. He can't tell us what it is. It's not beyond a reasonable doubt. Um, there's no way to defend yourself against those kind of baseless, reckless accusations. So I think ultimately the public will have confidence in Robert Mueller's investigation, whether or not they have confidence in Congress's investigation uh, depends on how responsible we are and how we frame the issues. So you just take it over the chairmanship um, from Jason Chaffetz. How will the committee be different under you, under your leadership? Uh, well, there are two components to our committee, Tucker. There's oversight and then there's government reform. Oversight is always mm -hmm. in, in fashion, it's always uh, in style uh, because of branch uh, equity and branch equilibrium issues. This is a once in a generation opportunity to do the government reform that, that lots and lots of folks have been talking about for decades. So that's going to be my focus. Uh, it's going to be uh, uh, serious, reform minded uh, ideas that save money. That, you know, what frustrates people is when we have hearings on waste, fraud, and abuse, and then we do nothing about it. 
So I, I look for fewer sure. hearings on ways for all the views and more work on it. I, I gotta say, I love the hearings, but, but I'd also like to see some action. I'm sure lots of our viewers agree. Mr. Sherman, thank you for coming on tonight. I yes, sir. It. Thank you, Tucker. Trey Gowdy interviewed aired tonight on June 20th, 2017. It's time to drain the swamp. The government needs to stop fighting the will of the nation. You see that? Watch that again. Our goal is to have this inve investigation done in a perfect world before Labor Day. Hashtag Tucker. Share this if you want Trey Gowdy to help Trump make this country great again. Our goal is to have this investigation done in a perfect world before Labor Day. That's the deadline. Get this everywhere. Trey Gowdy has put a deadline on the investigation. You heard it right there. Trey Gowdy wants to get the case done by September 4th, 2017. I'd, I personally think there should be no investigation. Let us know what you think in the comments below, and thank you so much for watching.